because I'm not the other hand I used right now. Seems pretty interesting. I like this layout a lot, but it's uh it's very separated, so it's really there's no way to get from the top to the bottom without going outside, which is kind of you know funky, but we'll, we'll check it out, see how you'd like it. Here is the views. Sorry for my car being in the way. <laughs> Um, so you definitely are not going to have lake views from down here. Um, I'd be pretty shocked if you have them from up there, but we'll find out. Um, you do have a lot of room in this driveway. So, I mean, if you guys want not have any RVs or boats or anything like that, definitely a lot of room. But also, if you ever wanted to expand on the house, that might be something that you could do. It looks like you have a whole wall here that's a support wall, so that actually could be beneficial. So I'm gonna check out the bottom area first. And this house is gonna be completely different as to what we just saw. This one's very modern, you know, newer uh, fixtures, newer flooring. Doesn't really have that piney Tahoe look. It's kind of your utility room. This would be the washer dryer. Looks like you have a big home hydrant fire system. It looks like that's a, but you know, it looks like maybe to control the sprinklers in here, uh, which is pretty cool. But look, you also have a tankless water heater. So a lot of cool stuff there. And then you have another water heater there and your HVAC. So a lot of appliances, nice little office area. Nothing too crazy, but it's nice. You walk down and this would be considered, you know, the master bedroom slash living space. They did a pretty good job with the recessed lighting and everything like that. You know, there really isn't a kitchen down here. There's a room for maybe a kitchen in that one room, the utility room. That's your bathroom. And so that is actually it for downstairs. So it's not the most luxurious space down here, but all the work is really nice. Um, the ceilings are a little low, but not like uh, unbearably low. I'm gonna close this up. Okay, it's fast. Okay, maybe I can't lie here right now. <laughs> All right, let's go upstairs. And let's check out the top part of this. All right. So immediately big open space, big open concept. A little bit higher ceilings, not completely vaulted, but they're high. Beautiful sink and appliances. That is the coolest air fry toaster thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Which is kind of an angle of it like this. So all in all, very good space. This is obviously going to be the fridge. Looks like it's still under construction, but that's a pretty big fridge. A nice big TV room. It's a very open concept. Not the biggest square footage ever, but at the same time, it's very functional. Washer dryer. Oh, can't open that one, but you can see it. Wash your dryer area, always nice to have. You have your full bath in here. Nice big bathroom, beautiful shower head. So all in all, pretty good design in here. Across the hall, you got some your linen closet. And then you have one good size room you know nothing too crazy but it's a, it's a pretty decent sized room i kind of put my back to the wall here and then across the hall you have a room that's 
honestly, I think identically, maybe the same size. The last room might be a click bigger, but all in all, it would not. Yeah, it's, they're all pretty much the same size. Let's go check outside. So it does have this, like, don't get me wrong, this needs a lot of work. I'm gonna hold the rail while I walk on this one. <laughs> um, so it does have this whole like separate deck up here. Once again, it needs a lot of work. But, when you get up here, it looks like there is electricity. So this would probably be a perfect hot tub spot. But you have really nice views from up here. No lake views, but you don't really see anything else. Like you're kind of hidden, which is really cool. Like your neighbors are over there, but they're hidden. Same thing over there. So you can do a lot with this. That's just something I kind of keep in mind, but yeah, hot tub for sure. <laughs> All right. I'm going to attempt to walk down these. Yeah, um, I think, though, you would definitely need to get this this whole deck honestly repaired. I mean, it's, it's you see, I'm walking on it. I'm not falling through, so it's working, <laughs> but it's definitely pretty beat up. I'm gonna walk you down to the bottom one last time before I lock it all up. All right, I will get you this video and the other one, and uh, I hope that. It helps you with your uh, kind of decision making. Thank you so much.